What's going on guys? It's Johnny Basketball Cards here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing off uh, 10 of my best investments. I'm uh, just going to talk about uh, uh, 10 cards that I've bought that have gone up a fairly significant amount. Um, I had a lot less than I thought. Um, that's just because a lot of times when I see them, you know, go up 5, 6x or something crazy like that, I just kind of sell. But before we do that, I actually went to my uh, LCS today, the uh, Blowout Cards Fantastic Store. It's pretty nice. So these were all 50 cent pickups here. Steve Francis, rookie. Got this nice Iverson insert. Robert Williams, rookie. I've been looking to get one of his. I like him. It's cool Iverson, uh, 2020 Prism. USA insert. This is the uh, Stickums, Jason Kidd. Uh, I have the Jordan in a PSA 9. Got this uh, Hyper, DeMar DeRozan. A Purple Wave, Kyle Lowry. Since he just got traded, might be able to sell it for a couple bucks. Got this uh, second year, Aiton Laser. Silver, Clay Thompson. Pretty cool, uh, Tops Gold, Carl Malone, I really like those. Got this, uh, Acetate, Living Legends from Illusions, Larry Bird. And then a, uh, second year Prison DeJounte Murray Red, numbered out of 299. So those were the 50 cent pickups. They've got a, uh, 50 cent box and a $5 box. And I always just, uh, go through that when I can. There's actually, uh, let's see, there's three better ones out of the 50 cent box. Got this uh, Legends of the Game, Robert Parrish, number to 199. This is a uh, Hyper, Ray Allen. And I also got this uh, Clear Ultra Rookie, Steve Nash. And then these next two are five apiece. This one's been there for a while. This uh, 05 Upper Deck SP Authentic John Stockton jersey out of 100. And then this came in pretty recently. This was uh, one of the few Shaq rookies I didn't have. This is the uh, 92 Skybox. And this is number 382. I, th I know he's got a couple different ones. But that's all for the LCS, so why don't we get into these? First up's a uh, second year Jordan BGS7. I really like this one. I, I'm a really big fan of the design of the card, honestly. I think it looks pretty nice. But I picked this one up for, I want to say, around 200 Not sure what they're down to now. I mean, these were selling for closer to 8 during the boom. They're probably back down to like four or five. But, I mean, just about everything Jordan I bought has gone up. I could have put a bunch of different cards of his in here, but I tried to get some variety. Next up is another Jordan, but it's a Jordan Kobe dual jersey. It's a, a SPX winning combos. This one I also got for about $200. I'd have to guess this does about five now. I mean, these are so rare. Um, that's what it's kind of hard for these just because there's so few Jordan and Kobe dual jerseys and they don't sell very often. But I think five is pretty fair on that. <clears throat> Same thing with this next one this uh, Julius Serving, Tracy McGrady, dual auto out of 50 from Ultimate Collection. Bought this for about 100 bucks. And uh, the most recent thing I saw, and I haven't looked up comps in a while, was a Julie Serving, or sorry, a Tracy McGrady and Vincent Carter. Vince, Vince Carter and T-Mac Dual Auto out of Immaculate. It was uh, numbered to 49. They're both in the Raptors series, but it went for about eight grand. And I mean, I'm pretty conservative on this. I'd say it's about a $500 card as well. But that one's turned out pretty good. This is one that I think has jumped up pretty recently. Bought this uh, 
Larry Bird Patch Auto out of 10 for about $150. A long time ago. And I, th I think it's pretty safe to say this is worth around $450. Just looking at other Patch Autos or Autos numbered to 10 that have sold. Next is a car that I got graded myself. This, uh, uh, 98 Sage Jason Williams Rookie Auto Bronze numbered out of 650. Graded a PSA 9. All in on this card, I'm around 60 bucks with the grading fee. I'd say it's worth 2 to 250. It's a pop 3, there's no graded comps. It's a pretty cool one. This is a 86 Fleer. Clyde Drexler BGS85. Got subs on the back. Pretty solid subs. But I picked this up. Uh, I paid under $50 for this a long time ago. These kind of peaked a little closer, like $275. I think they're down to around $225 now, but that's turned out to be a good one. This next one is one I just imagine has gone up a ton. I believe I got this for about $180. This, uh, Wilkins, Stockton, and Rodman Triple Auto out of 39. I'd imagine this is like a three or $400 card. I mean, I've had a $250 offer up at a show, but I just don't think it's that low. Next is a pretty cool one that I bought uh, pretty recently. This Iverson Scoreboard Rookie Auto. I got this for around like 30 bucks. And then the next sale did about 90. So that was a pretty good quick flip. I think, I mean, I still think this is undervalued. This is probably one of the cheaper Iverson autos you can find. And it's from his rookie year. Um, probably his only rookie auto as far as I know. Same with the other guys in the set, uh, Kobe and Ray Allen and uh, Steve Nash too, I think. So yeah, I think that's, that's gone up, but I think it can go up even more. This is a pretty nice one here, this uh, Giannis, numbered 205, from 1920 encased. I think I paid between $60 and $70 for this, not too long ago either, um, but he won the finals. If I had tried to sell it then, I probably could have gotten around $200 for it, which might sound a little crazy, but it, I was looking at other cards numbered to 5 and other cards numbered to 10, and it, it, that seemed to be the range of what I might be able to get. And then finally, Russell Westbrook. He treated me well when he got traded. I was a big believer in Westbrook. I still am. I mean, I'm a Wizards fan, I, and I'm a fan of Hall of Famers. I think he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. You know, he's probably a top 10 point guard of all time. But this is a Topps Co-Signers rookie that's numbered to two ninety nine. I want to say I spent about 25 30 bucks on this. I'd probably say... Could have gotten closer to 75 uh, when he got traded. Might be down to like 60 now, but still pretty good. I had a lot of, uh, you know, cards like this in that $20, $30 range. They doubled, maybe tripled, but I figured Westbrook is hot, so I'd show this one. But uh, that'll do it for the video, you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I'm trying to kind of show off what I got here. But, uh, yeah, that'll do it. So if you liked, leave a like, subscribe. I appreciate it.